Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, our channel. It's still Eric's channel too. He just isn't in as many videos. Um, but today I am just chilling here in bed. I actually just filmed and edited a video. So that's going to be up tomorrow. It's on um, what our experience was with, um, like once we found out we were pregnant, like our IVF cycle was successful, um, kind of what happens from then on. I thought that might be helpful for people who are about to go through IVF or maybe you just found out you were um, pregnant or you you know your IVF cycle was successful, you know like what to expect now, like what happens now. Um, anyway, so I filmed that. I hope you guys are enjoying those videos. I really love communicating with people that are still kind of in the thick of IVF and their infertility journey, story, whatever you want to call it, because um, I just, I love that, like, community and that support, because um, it was so helpful for me when we were in the thick of it, and I also feel like I want to stay connected because I don't know if I'm going to have to, like, go through IVF again or do a transfer, like, most likely we're going to have to do another transfer if we want to have another baby, anyway, and so I want to stay connected to that tribe, to that community. So let me know if you guys are enjoying those videos and if you have other video ideas for um, infertility and trying to conceive and IVF and stuff like that. But today I am 28 weeks and it's a Saturday and I am definitely, oh, I probably don't look too hot, but um, I am just enjoying my little rest time and taking advantage of just laying in bed and um, when I get, you know, spurts of energy, then I go ahead and clean and organize and do all sorts of things around the house um, to prep for baby because I'm definitely nesting. Um, but I am also tired. I'm officially in the third trimester and just I'm feeling it. So because I don't have any kids at home, you know, I don't have a ton of things that I mean I have responsibilities. I have work, all that stuff, but. I don't really have things that are demanding my attention and care, so I'm really taking advantage of just sleeping and resting, so I edited this video in bed, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a nap um, now, and um, I think I'm going to go swimming with my sister and her son, my nephew, because I've just been dying to go, like, just stand and float in some water, because I've had a lot of tailbone achiness and um, I just feel big and I just want some like relief so anyway that's what's going on today I think I might just vlog this weekend for you guys um, bring you along and show you what I'm up to if that I don't know it might not that be that interesting but maybe you guys will enjoy it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that but for now I think while my video is uploading I'm gonna go ahead and take a little nap hey guys I am back from a fun afternoon slash evening of swimming and hanging out with my sister and her son. We went to just like a local rec center and um, swam and then we went to dinner after that. Um, it was so nice to get in the water. They have a little lazy river and oh my goodness it was like just such a relief. Um, I just spent a lot of time going around and around in that. I could feel like an instant like lift um, in my low belly because it kind of had some pressure or I don't know just like slight tenderness there which I think is normal but I probably will talk to my doctor about it if it keeps up um, the, over the next week because I think we have an appointment in a week and a half. Anyway, I was so tired this afternoon, that's why I was like laying around and napping in bed, but um, then I got home and I thought I would be tired. I was in a shower and basically just get in bed, but then I had like this burst of energy and whenever I have those bursts of energy, I have to take advantage of it. So I decided to, um, I just started washing, Ooh, I started washing the sheets 
and doing some dusting and folding some laundry. I've told you guys that we are sort of um, redoing our bedroom slash house. Not redoing because we've only lived here for like 10 months, almost a year, because it'll be March when we moved here. Anyway, we haven't really spent a ton of time decorating and that sort of thing lately. So we did our bedroom. I just have a few more things I want to do in here. I want to get like a mirror above the bed. Um, but we're pretty much done in here. Although you can't see our new comforter because I think I'm going to wash that tonight too. Because it was brand new and I haven't washed it. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then let me show you guys. So we are back here in the nursery and I want to show you guys um, some things I've done. I don't know if I've showed you this. I think I did. But I folded all of her clothes um, washed and folded all of her clothes. So I can give you guys like a full detailed nursery organization tour, show you how I folded and like what my strategy behind the way I'm sorting everything goes. I need to get more of these from Ikea, so I'm definitely not done. I just started. So, um, yeah, just some random stuff down there. Here's some more clothes. I need to get, um, these are all washed. I need to just get more of those little Ikea drawer organizers to put those away. But this drawer is just basically all zero, newborn to like three months, I think. Um, and then I have all this stuff in here that needs to also, it's all been washed. This is all like six to nine months. And if you guys are wondering, all of this stuff was donated to us by our many family and friends. Um, we have a lot of siblings, both Eric and I, and most of our siblings are done having kids, and we have a ton of nieces, so we have been given so many things, which is amazing. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek. These are our neatly hung zero to three month, like, rompers and dresses and shirts that I don't really want to fold. Wow, we have a lot of stuff, and I got these hangers off Amazon. Um, like I said, I can do a detailed... Um, nursery organization tour once I get things all the way done but can I just tell you how happy it makes when I see these beautiful little hangers that are all match and that are all evenly spaced okay you guys I just got out of the shower and um, I have a little clay on my little spot my little friend who came to visit this weekend I have been getting um, some weird breakouts um, I have one down here, but it's like a, it's just a spot now that, you know, a dark spot that I need to try and get rid of. Um, I have like some over here too. I don't know, since I've been pregnant, this, well, no, I've had really clear skin since I've been pregnant. But the past month I've been getting weird, weird breakouts on my chin specifically. Um, I've also noticed a lot more redness around my nose. Um... And, I don't know, I'm kind of wondering if maybe I need to switch up what I'm using to wash my face and stuff. If you guys have any suggestions on good pregnancy <laughs> face wash, moisturizers, that sort of thing, let me know. I use a lot of natural stuff on my face right now. Um, I just use Dr. Brenner's um, tea tree. Um soap to wash my face. I mix it with water in like a foaming bottle. Um, and then I use like a rose, what do you call it, rose water toner on my face. And sometimes I just put coconut oil um, as a moisturizer. And honestly, like those things have worked great for me in the past couple years, like really, really good for me. But the past month, man, my face uh, it's struggling and I also have had like dry patches, red patches. I've noticed like other little like dark spots just randomly showing up and my eyes kind of burn too, like under my eyes. So anyway, I have a lot going on <laughs> with my face, my, with my skin. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear products that you tried maybe when you were pregnant that worked well for you, that um, helped combat that the acne, um, redness, dryness. It's so weird. I've never really had this dry of skin. Usually my skin's pretty oily. So, I don't know. Pregnancy is 
definitely weird. Hey you guys, it is Sunday. I'm just hanging out here with Poe and uh, just got home from church. We go for about two hours every Sunday and the second hour I get to teach the little kids but I think I'm gonna be done with that soon because they're gonna have someone else replace me because I'm really tired <laughs> after just that like 30 minutes that I have to be on and like have a lesson and teach um, get in front of the kids ages like three to seven um, it's just exhausting like I was thinking if I was a teacher like a school teacher I don't know how I would do that that would be so hard <laughs> I would come home so exhausted every day from work anyway so um, yeah it's really starting to hit me we are officially 28 weeks so we're in the third trimester and I am starting to feel um, like I was like I'm the same kind of tired that I was in the first trimester so I just have to take those breaks and just sleep so but you know I'm just taking advantage of it because I don't have any kids right now and if I want to nap I can nap it's really easy for me to just nap or sleep in and so I'm trying to take advantage of that but I also wanted to tell you guys that I was super hungry when we got home to church and I can't talk sorry super hungry when we got home from church and just kind of tired and felt, yeah, just bleh. So um, Eric was making mac and cheese because he's the best and that's what I was craving. Um, and I was just hungry and I think emotional for some reason because he was like watching this um, Planet Earth or something on Netflix and he like stopped it and rewound it back so I could watch this part he thought it was really cool it was the shark that like jumped out and like caught a bird and ate it <laughs> and that like traumatized me and I started crying like sobbing crocodile tears and I was so mad at him for showing me that and he's like wow I think you're just hungry and honestly sure enough by the time I ate and you know got some food in me I felt a lot better <laughs> and I don't think I'll be crying over stupid things like that at least until not until I'm hungry again because that's where I'm at right now. I did want to say, I know I eat mac and cheese. I know it's not like the healthiest thing ever, but um, I have been trying to make sure I eat protein and veggies at every meal and then just eat whatever else I'm like craving. So um, I did eat like this really like healthy jerky stick um, that I get from one of the local like health food stores and some carrot sticks and then I eat mac and cheese. Okay, so just wanted to throw that out there but I'm trying my best hey guys I am just chilling here in bed enjoying some Grammy red carpet preview shows <laughs> um, I love the Grammys I love award shows and I sometimes get really into them this year especially because I am obsessed with Casey Musgraves if you guys don't know her you need to check her out and I have loved her for like five years or so and um, she is nominated for Album of the Year, so I'm just like so proud of her. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a weirdo, but I am so excited to watch the Grammys this year. And I even got so into it that I was like <laughs> printing off like the whole list of, not the whole list, but a big chunk of the um, main categories, all the nominees. And I'm going to go through and like mark who I think is going to win. And maybe even who, like, who I want to win and who I think is going to win. Um, and then I'm going to watch the Grammys tonight and see if I'm right. Um, I'm trying to convince my sister to come over here and watch the Grammys with me. Because it'll just be more fun. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out those, my own official Grammys ballot. And I think I'm going to plan my week. Edit a video, maybe. Just keep it really low-key tonight. I'm gonna make some barbecue chicken, I think. Um, and yeah, we'll just have such a nice chill Sunday. I love Sundays. Okay guys, it is dinner time and I am going to use my Instant Pot because I'm loving it. It's so easy. Um, so I think I'm just gonna make barbecue chicken because it's easy tonight and I'll just put it on rice or a sweet potato or something random. Um, but I got this 
Whole30 approved barbecue sauce. I'm not on Whole30, but um, I do appreciate a sugar-free, um, healthier barbecue sauce because barbecue sauce can be so sugary. So, anyway, this has pineapple juice in it. We'll see how it is. I'm sure it'll be good. Um, I'm just going to toss that into the Instant Pot for 10 minutes with some chicken and it comes out nice and tender. Like, really, it, it's really, really good. So, yeah, that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. Well, you guys, it is official. My girl, Casey Musgraves, just won all the Grammys that she was nominated for. Is, um, even Album of the Year, which is crazy because I can't remember the last time, like, a country album won that. Anyway, very good night. Eric made cookies, chocolate chip cookies that are so freaking good. All I said was, hey, you should make chocolate chip cookies, and he did, and they're amazing. And I say, I have stayed up way too late past my bedtime, so I'm going to shower. I'm going to finish cleaning up the kitchen. Then I'm going to shower. Then I'm going to bed because it's Monday tomorrow. I haven't even really planned my week out, but oh well, um, it's been a good day. So I hope you guys had a great day, a great week, wherever we're at at this point in time. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and click the subscribe button and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.